Here's Victoria and Anthony with an AMI This Week Shortcut. There's definitely a huge culture around horses, which has led riders to coin the phrase from the public referring to them as horse people. Definitely. Whenever you meet someone who is a rider, you can tell they have such a love for the animal. Well, this sparked the interest of Ottawa presenter Shelby Travers, who loves dogs and wanted to find out if horse people are like dog people. Shelby heads to the country to meet the horses and their coaches of Brooks and Farm to find out what it's all about. Ah, the quiet of the country. This is where I'm going to learn to ride a horse. But first, I want to learn more about the farm. I'm Ashley Banke and I'm the manager of operations at Brooks and Farm. It's a nice big facility. We have about 350 acres tucked in right on the green belt. Um, we have about 20 horses that we use in our school program and probably about 30 horses that are here as clients or as young horses that are growing up in the field. For their riding program, the school is open to a broad range of students. We start our kids off at three years old, up to any age. The great thing about riding is it's a sport where you can start young, you can start old, you can pick it back up, and uh, it's, it's accessible for everyone. And if anyone is feeling uneasy about getting on a horse... We have very safe horses that we use to help build confidence for new riders, timid riders. We have some riders that come that are very shy and nervous around horses. So the horses that we select for our program, it's very important that they're calm, they're quiet, and they're safe for all of our riders. Good girl. Shannon Cardillo is an instructor at Brookson. She has been riding since she was a child. My favorite part about being on the farm is just, I think, enjoying the farm. It's a beautiful facility. There's amazing people here. And just being around the horses is definitely, um, definitely why I keep doing it. According to Shannon, getting into horseback riding is a breeze. You don't need to know a single thing to be able to start riding lessons. It's an accessible sport for anyone, no matter what your abilities may be. That's good because I have zero experience when it comes to riding a horse. So we're walking forward nice and straight. There's so much to think about. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering, how will it be adapted for me? We're not going to adapt it too much. We're going to just keep you on the lunge line, so I will have some control of the horse. You won't need to be looking where you're going in terms of um, judging the space in the arena. And then other than that, it's going to be the same lesson as everyone else. Working at Brookson is a dream come true for Ashley. I remember as a kid, I just always loved horses and I just always wanted to be around them. And then I was lucky enough to start riding when I was 15 and I just, I haven't been able to stop since it's, it's a passion, but it's also an obsession. According to Shannon, even first time riders have the same opportunity to develop a passion for riding. I think that the initial attraction to horses is that it's something different. It's something that a lot of people don't necessarily get to experience. And then I think once they get that first lesson down, it's just, they want more. <laughs> they want to continue. There's also a therapeutic element to riding. Ashley explains. The thing that really puts horses and horseback riding aside is the therapeutic element that you get. And then the horses, they have, you build a really good relationship with them. They, they, they sense you, they respond to you. So it's a nice, a nice balance between your own personal therapy and then the horses as well. It's quite fun actually. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that story definitely gives me countryside envy. Instead of hearing the birds chirping, we have to hear the hustle and bustle of the city. And it gets better, too. Shelby told us there's a horse there about to give birth at any moment that's actually blind as an, and has its own guide pony. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. If you'd like more information about the farm and lessons, check out their website at brookson.ca.